Hello, in this short tutorial we'll have a look at the repeat function in Excel. Um, the repeat function deals with text rather than calculations but the, there may be examples in your own spreadsheets where you'll find a use for it and we'll look at some possible uses for it here. I'll just start by typing out an example of the repeat function and you'll see how it works. Like any function or formula in Excel we start by typing the equals key so I'll type the equals key and to do the repeat function we type in REPT and then we do an open bracket or open parentheses and it contains two arguments or two sections the first thing is what you want to repeat and what I'm going to do is type in a number here so I'll just type in the number 5 for example and then you do a comma to separate it from the other part of the formula which is to tell Excel how many times you want that to repeat and I'm going to ask that to repeat five times and then we close the bracket and I'll just press the enter key and what happens is Excel puts in five 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 so I've repeated the number five five times now obviously I could use another repeat argument to refer to that cell um, and I'll just show an example of that. So if I start um, another one, I'll just do another formula with repeat. So equal REPT, short for repeat, open bracket. And this time I'm going to use a piece of text. And so I'm going to do a quotation, or put quotation marks uh, around the text to tell Excel it is text. And I'll type in the word spam, a little tribute to Monty Python there comma again to tell Excel where the break is between what we want repeating and how many times to repeat it and I will repeat spam five times close the bracket press enter and we get spam 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 which Monty Python fans will be familiar with now I can refer to that formula by simply doing equals repeat again open bracket and this time what I'm going to do is actually click on the cell reference where the first repeat function is which it is a4 but I'll simply click on it and what that does it pops it into the formula automatically for me comma and I'm going to repeat the first repeat function a further four times there we go close the bracket press enter and then we get a lot of spam okay now it's up to you really how you decide you might want to use the repeat function but that's basically how it works I'll show you one possible example what I've done here is just set up a little table um, of names and scores an imaginary staff competition if you like and what I'm going to do is just add on a little label we'll call it score display and I'm going to use the repeat function um, and we'll use the, the actual number in the score to tell the repeat function how many times you want to repeat and so what I'm going to do is start with the repeat function again equals REPT by the way it's, it's red because I've already uh, uh, formatted these cells as red just to highlight them for you so REPT open bracket now this time I'm going to use a piece of text and I'm going to use a capital I okay so again we tell Excel its text by putting it between quotation marks comma again to separate the two parts of the formula and this time I'm going to tell Excel to use the number in the score column as to indicate how many times I want the letter I repeating and close the bracket press enter and you'll see what happens when I do that it's actually put a series of eyes on but it's using the score to tell Excel how many eyes are repeated and so we get a visual representation of, of the score which is just you know quite a clever way of quickly seeing who's ahead and who's behind now if I just copy that formula down we'll see what happens there we go let's click away um, it's just a very simple way of, of representing numbers in a visual way I suppose how you will apply this in your own spreadsheets is entirely up to you um, these are just a few possibilities uh, I'm sure you can think of many more but that's how the repeat function works finally what I'll show you is how to use the paste function feature to create the formula now I'm just going to delete these formulas here and I'll do the same thing but I'll use the paste function feature and if I go up to the 
standard toolbar, you'll see this. It's a button with an F and a little X on it, um, and it'll pop up a label as it has here saying paste function. If I click on that, what you need to do on the function category is locate the text functions. You click on the text functions, that's already highlighted for me there, and then scroll down, and these are all listed alphabetically, and we'll see REPT there, repeat. Um, there's a little piece of information here that tells you what the repeat function is and as you see it tells you the different arguments within the formula what you want repeating and, and how many times you want it to be repeated click OK and then we get this box which asks for the different entries now what I can do with this paste function box is just move it out of the way a little bit so we can see what's happening the text is obviously the capital I so simply type in the capital I in there I then press the tab key and that moves me into the next box and it's asking for how many times well the number of times is going to be this cell reference and so I can simply click on that cell reference there and it puts it into the box for me and that's all I need to do then click OK and that's done and then again copy those formulas down and we get the same result so you can either type it in manually and if I just click on that first one you'll see in the formula bar that's the function uh, and that's what you need to type in to make it work equal REPT and then the information between brackets the first part of the argument is what you want repeating the second part is how many times you want it repeated and that in a nutshell is the repeat function I hope you found that useful thank you very much